Having been released in 2018, the X701 is a relatively new addition to Zebra's family of rugged pens. It's the first X-Pen Zebra has released, and it was the fourth addition to the top Tier 7 line of Zebra's Steel Series. The X701 was not a replacement to the famous F701 ballpoint, but rather an alternative to it. Zebra calls the X701 their tactical ballpoint, which relays the ruggedness of its build as well as the company's intentions. This is an all-purpose, all weather, all temperature, 30 degrees F to 250 degrees F pen that was designed for use in every scenario. The classic F701 is very tough, but a shortcomings which the X701 was designed to address. Specifically, the F701 is very narrow, so it's hard to use with gloves, and it does not use a pressurized ink refill, so it cannot write upside down or underwater. The F701 is also a shiny, polished metal which makes it both slippery and highly reflective. The X701 is considerably wider than the F line. It has an ink pressure mechanism, and it has a non-reflective matte black paint job that gives it a tactical look and feel. The X701 has a few significant additions to the F701 as well. This includes a lanyard clip at the top of the pen, so it can be hung around your neck or from a backpack, making it considerably harder to lose. The most notable upgrade though is the use of a non-pressurized ballpoint refill that is pressurized when the top is pressed. This is a pen pending technology that is very similar to that used in the Tom Bowler press pen. With the ink pressurized, the pen can write at any angle, including upside down. Initial Reception The X701 was highly awaited by fans of everyday carry pens, but it faced problems shortly after its August 2018 release. The pen was in very short supply initially and only sold directly from Zebra, where it sold out. Post-release, the pen was criticized for its use of plastic components to the grip section, in particular, which not only is made of plastic, but has a plastic wide feel to it that F701 fans disliked. People have also noted flaking paint on the coated steel body and the large amount of plastic used in the pen's construction, both inside and out. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.